Uh, my name is Lori White, Walla Walla, Washington. Walla Walla, Washington, I love it. This is a Curtis Wright Clipper. Mm -hmm. It's a 22 foot, it's a 1948. And this was a trailer that was built by Curtis Wright and Wally Byam. And Wally Byam is with, um, is the Airstream okay. person that everybody knows. And so after the war, they started with this trailer. Oh, wow. And then uh, Curtis Wright ultimately went under and Silver Streak bought the rest of their supplies and also made this trailer for a short period of time. And Wally Byam also made this same trailer, but he did a solid window in, in the front, so it has the same curve, but with mm -hmm. a solid window. So my husband calls them transition trailers. They were kind of the first trailers that Wally Byam did before he went to his more the Airstream. Airstream that yeah. everybody's familiar so with. So the so. proto Airstream. Yeah, and kind of, you know, I'm sure you're familiar with the Bolas, and so then yeah. this is kind of, we just kind of call mm -hmm. all of those transition trailers till you kind of settle in with well, the king of them all. Some things I noticed right away is like the size of the door going in and out yes. is like so much larger than an airstream and it is more even more reminiscent of an airplane and you have that, that um screen on it right this has the Wow, it's I mean, it, it literally looks door. like the side of an airplane from the 1940s. Yeah, and it has that no construction, so let me open this and show you. I want to see, yeah, that's yeah, wow. great. Oh, there's a door in the door. There's a door in the door, so this wow. is really, really cool. So when we close it, we have this. It, then it's and kind then, of a normal sized door from the era. Right, but you can't really walk through yeah, here. You wouldn't it's want still to. kind it's of screen, a, a yeah. short. You'd have to be a hunchback to pull that off. <laughs> exactly. Amazing. So, so what kind of condition was it in when you guys got it? It was, um, somebody had probably been living in it, so it didn't have any of the original interior in it. And at mm -hmm. the time, we didn't even have a good example to see what an original interior looked like. Oh, wow. Uh, so we just sort of did our own thing. And we started with the bed. We wanted a big enough bed for both of us and so that we could get out and not crawl over each other. And so from that, every year we would do part of the trailer and then get it ready and go camping. And then in the winter, we'd take it back down and we'd do more. So we did it in stages. So every time we get a chance to try something, different and see what we like. So first he got it all ready with a nice torsion axle and so it could really go down the road. And then we did a curved closet on the inside here so that we had room for our shoulder going down. And that sort of was the basis that started the whole whole design for the for the trailer. And so it was basically gutted when it was, you got it. Yeah, well, okay. we needed to gut it. It wasn't yeah. gutted, but it had a lot of heavy stuff in it. And this mm -hmm. trailer uh, full is is less than 3,000 pounds oh, going wow. down the road. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So we. <laughs> and we live, yeah, we live far away, so we drive kind of uh, fast and, and hard. So yeah. um, that's kind of how it all started. And we, uh, we kind of finished it off here off of the advertisement. And if you notice on the advertisement, there's this stripe. Mm -hmm. So when we got the trailer all done, we decided to put the stripe. And part of it was because we had never seen it on any trailers. And even some of the trailer experts like Tim Hines out of Florida had not, had told us they hadn't seen it either. So we decided we'd put the stripe on in vinyl. So Dave went ahead and did that. And we thought we'd take it off, like we wouldn't like it. But we actually really liked the stripe yeah, once we I put it on. Great. And when we got all done, we decided that we should put that on. And it looks cool. Yeah, maybe someday we'll find a trailer out there that's, that has remnants of it. But we're thinking it was in the ad and it was an option and maybe people didn't mm -hmm. do that. So. It looks, it has that rocketeer look. Right? Yeah, you know, it does. Fabulous. Well, we, we yeah. wanted to stay with the 1948. And so he did a boat deck kind of floor on it, like mm -hmm. the old, uh, what are they called? Chris Craft boats, I think, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we like the leather a lot, and so my window curtains are leather as well, and we just did kind of a lot of different stuff that most people haven't yeah. done. So it does look a lot different than the inside of most. Most of the trailers are really bright and lots of great, fun, happy, and we sort of did like more of a, a darker kind of uh, relaxing kind of you know bedroom kind of yeah mode, so. day like today I bet that feel is, is feeling or sounding pretty nice right now yeah. to be able to go in a nice dark place and you guys are gonna open it up and let us go we in are, cause we've got some we're the only people who get to walk through here really close to you that. 
And you know, really, um, what happens because of the short door is people hit their head. So that's oh, the main yeah. reason. Anybody who knows trailers is fine with it, but yeah. sometimes Well, some of those I've seen people put, they cut a pool noodle lengthwise <laughs> yeah, and they the stick it over the top so if you don't smack your head. Gotta say, it works perfectly, but kind of It doesn't it. look, it, yeah. If you make it, it yellow, at least you give people a good warning. <laughs> so, so, wow, I yeah, love the, ahead. like you're saying, the flooring like a Chris Craft boat. So these Great. didn't originally have bathrooms, so we did put a, a bathroom in here, and we have a shower. We haven't quite completed the shower, and it would be your very minimal, you know, yeah. get wet yeah. cleanup. Hey. It's better than no shower. But one of the great things is when he started with the headboard, he wanted to make it light. So he started cutting circles out, and that sort of started our design, along with the wider bed. Yeah. And then we wanted the shoulder room, so we made this curved closet. And so then we went ahead and put, or I went ahead and put leather on the front of that, so that gives us closet space oh on each side. I love how you just kept it looking like a World War II bomber inside of it. Yeah, we really tried to go with that. Um, all the, the uh, emblems on the front are his son's or his dad's. So his oh, and his um, son's shape. wife they were in Iraq and did two tours so uh -huh. they provided some of this so that was kind of nice and then I have some replica uh, pilots maps here and so we just kind of went with the leather I had left over from this and I thought well I wonder how it'll work for window shades and it really worked oh, well great blackout curtains great blackout curtains yeah. yeah and then we just use those little kind but it of it even has the same lines. the right look yeah because yeah, they, they match fabulous. so so then, you know, I couldn't stop there. I thought, well, I got to do the leather. So this one I did kind of like, I think of it as the floor, cement floor, like kind of that oily look yeah. of an mm -hmm. airplane hanger. And then I put our VIN number in here. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then these, I did like old suitcases. So they kind of oh, have the look yeah. of an old suitcase. So that was just kind of And you guys fun. built the cabinets and everything? I think there was one, and he went ahead and did a couple more, and then he went ahead and went with that whole theme, trying not to get too many holes. We had them down yeah. there. We didn't want, you know, too much of but that. I was talking about the aluminum. Was the aluminum? Uh, I think one of them was, and then I think he built the he others had the to match it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think, or maybe two of them, and he built one. I can't quite remember. And he had some old aluminum. I, so I love the leather couch, how it works. Yeah, that's been really nice. We did have the whole thing in this aged copper, the countertop. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's kind of was a thin it copper, is. and it started to bubble a little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he redid up front just there with some cool. different copper. But we Sorry, kept it back here. Hard. We even kept the yeah. little holes <laughs> in no, it. Wow. So, so nice. It's so crazy. Yeah. It and looks like it looks like like you said like the the movie The Rocketeer or yeah, something like a it, like a fantasy idea of the 1940s. And it was really fun to stay with the, the 48 theme and I even did a, a piece of felt. I do a lot of textiles. I do handmade felt. So I started with the sheep wool on this piece on the back and made it look like a blanket and then embroidered it with the Air Force oh, on there. That's so, awesome. so we just kind of tried to keep adding those little things. Did you custom did. make this bedspread? I bought it, but I did custom fit it for here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and kind of built that piece. And having had uh, 18 people in my family in the Air Force since the Army Air Corps in World War II, I'm a big fan. Oh, yeah. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, we really, neither of us were in the military, but it's been kind of fun to have people come through and, and, yeah. and recognize some of the emblems and, and where they're from and everything. So, in the picture, I'll be honest, it just covers a hole in the wall. <laughs> but it looks so good there, so. <laughs> so it works. Yeah. You buy them, we fly them. <laughs> I love this it. This is awesome. Thank um, you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I kind of take a little peek at the bathroom. Yeah. Go right ahead. Did you already get the bathroom on film, babe? I have not. It's not too exciting. Sonova.